the egg experiment is even easier than the peak bladder experiment to show the osmosis phenomenon as you might have already guessed as we are talking about the egg experiment then we will need some egg right so first of all let me write the apparatus that we need apparatus required first of all you will need three eggs eggs of similar size similar size okay don't take one big one one small one take three eggs of similar size that might not be exactly similar but uh, nearly equal size okay then we need three big two beakers two beakers also we need dilute axial solution and we might need a spoon and we need salt solution as well so these are the apparatus and chemicals that we require to do the egg experiment so what do we do first of all look at here let me draw the structure of egg this looks like egg right suppose this is the egg now in egg there is this layer inside it that is like a semi permeable membrane okay actually this is black marker not a blue one so look at here this is semi permeable membrane or you can simply say the membrane of the egg this is the egg cell egg cell and the material part or uh, egg matter egg matter or the useful matter that we eat by eating omelet is inside it okay so this is the complete structure of an egg now we need to peel this off we need to uh, remove this egg cell then how will we do if we try to peel this off by ourselves then obviously it won't be possible because this will just burst then what do we need to do we need to dip it in a uh, dilute axial we need to dip it in dilute hydrochloric acid then what will happen if we dip it in dilute hydrochloric acid for 3 or 4 hours then this egg cell will be removed this will get dissolved there is a reason actually there is a chemical reaction that happens over there uh, let me first of all write it this is the membrane membrane and this is the material or matter we can see okay now there will be a reaction over here that helps us to dissolve this egg cell actually the egg cell of the egg is made up of calcium carbonate this egg cell is made up of calcium carbonate egg cell and if we dissolve it or if we put it in dilute hydrochloric acid then what will happen we will get calcium carbonate sorry calcium chloride calcium and chlorine will form calcium chloride there is h and there is o then obviously it will form water and it will form carbon dioxide as well now to balance it we need to put two over here so this is the complete balance reaction that occurs when the egg is kept in dilute hydrochloric acid for three or four hours this is a slow process okay now because of this the egg cell converts into uh, carbon dioxide and water then obviously this will be removed and after four or five hours or three or four hours we can remove that remaining part of the egg and we can start our experiment now for that let me erase this portion okay this is a simple reaction that is taught in school level as well now we need to take three such eggs we need to uh, remove the egg cell of three eggs and after that we need to put one of the egg we need to put one of the egg in the between for our theory for our process for the reference for our reference we will compare the size of other eggs with respect to this we won't do it to, we, are, we won't do this egg anything okay we just have to keep this egg in something now we will take two beakers one beaker like this another beaker like this and in first beaker there is distilled water this is distilled water distilled water and in the second figure sorry in the second beaker we need to take 
salt solution salt solution we can take salt solution or we can take sugar solution but but as salt solution is cheaper you can prefer that now look at here if we put the remaining two eggs in both of them like this this is the egg first of all the size will be same the size will be same but after some time as the time passes then we can observe the egg that is put in distilled water starts to swell that is its size starts to increase now the size becomes bigger and the egg that is kept in salt solution its size decreases that is it shrinks this is the experimental observation that we observe in the laboratory if we do this experiment but what is the reason for that why the uh, the egg that is kept in this distilled water swells gets bigger and that kept in salt solution gets smaller then the reason is osmosis look at here there is some matter inside it right it has some density obviously and you can say this is a solution and if we keep it in distilled water then what will happen distilled water will be dilute as compared to this inside material then from outside water molecules will start to get in and as a result of that the size of this egg starts to increase slowly it will increase that's why it takes some time you can also do this with potato you can uh, chop potato and you can make small small pieces six or seven, you know, whatever like three or six equal pieces of uh, you can french fries like that okay not actually french fries but that in that shape you can chop a potato and you can do this experiment in the same way you can find one of the uh, one of the potato part increases and another one decreases this is what we absorb and the same thing is absorbed in a case as well and in this case in salt solution case obviously there is solute particles in so in this water then uh, then obviously the density or this inside material will behave as dilute for this case this will be concentrated solution and this will be the dilute solution and as a result of that the water molecules from inside will start to come outside like this and this decreases the size as a result of that the egg actually sinks so this is the egg experiment that helps us to prove the osmosis phenomenon